Hey everybody, thanks for joining me here at Power Mods. It's that time of year. It's a beautiful time of year. I've seen the videos, I've seen the pictures. A lot of guys are out there snowmobiling. Things are looking up this year, way better than last year at this time. And I'm excited for the season, but I'm here today to talk to you about Christmas. Christmas is a time of giving, and you know what we're all about here. We love showing you cool stuff, stuff that we use every day. You know, we help out a lot of companies, show people their different products that we work with. But sometimes, you know what, I just use a lot of stuff that uh, I just seem to uh, be happy with, makes my life easier. And I want to tell you to do something. I don't want you to see this video. I want you to go grab your, your mom, your dad, your girlfriend, your wife, your significant other, whatever you're into. Go get them, bring them in here, have them watch this video. We got some stocking stuffers, we got some nice presents, we got things that are going to keep you warm, going to keep you safe. But you don't need to know about this because it's Christmas. You don't want to spoil the surprise, right? So go get them, come on back. All right, so here we go. All right, I've got a bunch of things here that, that snowmobiler in your life is gonna love. Some guys are trail riders, some guys like to go off trail, some guys like to work on their sleds, and some like to just bring them to the dealer. We've got a little bit of something here for everybody. Now, one thing, if you're a trail rider, you're gonna want this. These are the bite harder carbide runner tools and the stud sharpener tools. And now I'm going to put links to everything uh, in the description of this video so you know exactly where to get these things. Bite Harder also builds this cool little sharpening tool. You just keep it right in the back of your machine or in the little tool pouch. You can stop, you can sharpen your carbides if you want. And the important thing about sharp carbides is that a sharp carbide is a safe carbide. It helps you turn, it helps you steer, it helps you avoid things. So you're going to want to get those tools from Bite Harder. Something that I use on a daily basis is this. Now some people call it the safety siphon. I call it the jiggler because there's a little ball in here, jiggles around. And this allows you to transfer fuel from one tank to another or from a gas can in your snowmobile without making a mess. And I, I, I have one of these in my truck, I have one in our trailer, I have one up at my property, I keep them all over the place. But they're very inexpensive, they're about 10 bucks. I got this one at Princess Auto, you can get them at just about any kind of a, you know, a hardware store. Most people carry these right now. Perfect little stocking stuffer. If your man likes to tinker with a sled, he's going to love this tool right here. A man loves a tool. This is a big beast, this is from Woody's. Woody's makes this and it's a spring puller, spring pusher, and it's a spring twister. And it's really long, it gets into these new chassis, everything's sort of packed in there, but springs are really tight in the back. A lot of them have a tendency to break. I've got so many that are busted off here, I have to re-weld them and then we, you know, I have to weld different parts onto them. Just doesn't make any sense. But Woody's makes this great tool. I forget how much it is, but it's about 20 bucks, 28 bucks, something like that. But this is a very handy one to keep in your toolbox for sure. And when it comes to safety, I'm going to go over a couple different things. Backcountry rider, you know, and even it's not a bad thing if you're a trail rider, an aggressive trail rider. Number one, a vest. I always wear a vest, I just don't have mine here. But I love this Atlas neck protector. It looks a little crazy sometimes, you know, when people see me, they're like, what are you doing? Well, I'm old, I got a bad neck. I've had a couple of wipeouts, uh, whiplash in my, on my Razor and on my snowmobile. But this here really helps. If you have a helmet that works with this type of neck protector, get it. Um, safety is kind of paramount, especially when you're rolling along at high speeds, right? Next is this little spot GPS kind of receiver transmitter. If you have an issue, something happens to you in the backcountry, for all you backcountry riders, or for that matter, uh, on the trail system, some of them in Canada here, I mean, you can go up to James Bay, so you can run into real issues. If you have an issue, you can press a button on here and the cavalry is coming. Very handy thing to have and we bring it with us everywhere we go. Cool little stocking stuffers. Yeah, I know. Something as simple as a hand warmer. I keep these in my truck, I keep a box of them. I buy them in bulk. You can get them at most hardware stores in bulk and they're very handy to have. You just light them up about 10, 15 minutes in the truck before you, um, you know, you park to get unloaded and they're ready to go. I keep some in my mitts, I keep a couple in my backpack with a spare set of mitts or gloves and I keep them actually warm inside there. So once my hands get a little cold, because I'm old, 
circulation maybe not so good, right? Um, they're nice and warm. I put on those new Metzer gloves. They're handy. And if I'm carrying any camera equipment, I also slap those in uh, beside the batteries, which brings me to this. You know, I'm gonna wanna take a look at this right here. This is your regular kind of GoPro, right? A lot of people have GoPros now. This is the Hero 3, they have the 4. I think they even have a 5 now. Um, but for most people, if you can still find one of these GoPro Hero 3s, these are a great camera. I use them all the time. And one issue we have in the really cold weather is battery life. Battery life is not so good. So Lime Fuel makes this extra battery pack and they have a little extra window or door that goes in the back. And I'm telling you, that right there gets me a solid eight hours in our brutal Canadian winters. We don't miss any footage like that. In fact, we pretty much max out a 64 gig card before that battery dies. Highly recommended. And nobody will ever complain if you get them a GoPro. Guaranteed. Moving right along with stocking stuffers. Can't beat Gorilla Tape. It's handy. It's better than duct tape. This stuff, I'm telling you, it sticks on everything. As long as you just dry that surface a little bit, it's very tough. We use it to fix all kinds of problems with our sleds and you know, we have the odd one. This stuff is great to have. If the snowmobiler in your life loves working on his or her sled, they're gonna love brake parts cleaner. Don't get one. We go through this stuff pretty fast. Get a case. They're not very expensive. Get a whole case, six or 12 or whatever in it. I buy a case at a time now and good old stack of rags. I got those at Princess Auto, very inexpensive, but very handy to keep all the stuff clean, right? Hands, you might wanna pick up a pack of gloves as well. 50 pack of gloves, latex or uh, nitrile for the people who are allergic to latex. Next, these here, I know I always talk about these hand guards. I'm a big hand guard fan. Um, I started working with PowerMat a long time ago and I love these hand guards. They're big. These ones have all kinds of marks from trees because off trail riding, you're whacking trees all the time. This big deflective area on here keeps your hands nice and warm uh, from that incoming wind, roost from the guy in front of you. And they're flexible, so if you roll your sled, you're not gonna bust these off. PowerMat has a whole bunch of different new hand guards out this year with all kinds of nice little features. You might want to check them out. And of course, I'll put the link in the description. One pretty cool thing that I found, and I haven't tried it yet, but boy, oh boy, we're going to try this soon. I've seen the videos on this. It's called Fiber Fix. Now, it's like a, some kind of impregnated cloth that you just wet and then you wrap it around something that's broken or you need to make solid and it hardens like says right there, it hardens like steel. So we're gonna try that out soon. But a great little stocking stuffer. I bought this whole kit. They've got all kinds of different stuff in here. Um, but you can just buy them individually. We're breaking things all the time. Pretty sure that's gonna come in handy. Another thing that works really well is this Moto Shield Pro Nano Protectant. Now we've used this on our ATVs and the uh, UTVs. You put this stuff on when it's nice and clean and you get the mud on your machine for a hard day of riding and you just spray it off, comes off very easily. Now we're gonna be working with this this winter and it's supposed to do the same for snow on your tunnels. Getting rid of that snow on your tunnel makes your snowmobile lighter. Making it lighter is a good thing. Um, when, when you're out riding and you accumulate another 40 pounds of snow and ice on your sled, it slows things down. You're wondering, you know, why isn't this machine uh, working the way it should be or am I getting a little tired? It's because you've got all that extra weight on there. So. Hopefully this is gonna work for us. And if it doesn't work for our slide, it's gonna be good for the ATVs. Now back to the cameras, RAM mounts, extremely important. Yes, the GoPro is a great machine. It's a great thing to have in your toolbox, records all those memories, your friends flying over their handlebars and all that other stuff. But the mounting system is horrible. It really is, it's really bad. That's why we use these RAM mounts. They're just a ball mount, they grab extremely hard, they keep everything nice and rigid so your camera gets a nice solid shot and they have about, I don't know, there's a, probably a thousand different ways and uh, little uh, different types of mounts that you can get from RAM that you can, you know, you can put them on the back of your tunnel, you can put them on the bars, you can put them on your handlebars, you can put it on a ski, don't put it on your track, it's not recommended, 
but ram mounts, they're not very expensive. You can find them anywhere. A lot of these things you can actually find on eBay, quite cheap. Highly recommended. We have a box of ram mounts because we use them all the time. Nothing worse than being wet and cold when you're riding your sled. That's why I use these Motorfist Alpha boots. I also use their stompers and I love them. Highly recommended. They're great for the active rider and they're good for just sitting on your sled, hauling down the trail. I think that's it. We've covered most of the stuff. Yes, but there's one other thing, maybe two other things right here. Everybody in the Power Mods Army needs one of these. The hoodies. Everybody's been asking, where are the hoodies? So we have them right here. We've got the Power Mods Army olive green. Those are limited edition. We've got one run of those, and we've also got the Power Mods hoodies as well, the traditional. Now, if you want those, you just contact me through the contact email, and we'll ship them out to you. Very easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So there you have it. Those are my recommendations. Everything starts right from the stocking stuffer, goes up to a little bit more pricey, but you're looking at you know safety items, things that are gonna keep you warm and dry and make snowmobiling happy. That's what this is all about. And that's why we need to get out there and enjoy this year and enjoy Christmas. Merry Christmas and best of the year to you. I hope to see you on the trails and in the backcountry. I'm out.